Hi everyone. Um, so we thought we'd have a conversation with you, or have a conversation just about what's been happening in the last several weeks. Where we've been, what we've been doing. Yeah, because a lot, a lot has changed. Um, a lot was changing the last time we spoke, um, and our last video was about really what we thought we might be able to to do to help during this, you know, sort of unprecedented. Yeah, sure. Do I, think, I think we ended with the question, you know, how can we best be of service? My cameraman is excellent. Um, how can we best be of service in this changing time? And you know, kind of what were we going to do? What were what were we going to do? And we did not know. We didn't know. We know now. <laughs> yes, we've found an answer. Um, and if you've been following us at all, you may have an inkling that it has something to do with flower. So as I'm sure you've seen online, there have been, um, everyone and their brother is now making sourdough bread. Which is brilliant. Which is great. And as a business, for us, that we were really well placed to, um, you know, provide kits and provide online courses. But we ran out of flour. And... As everyone did. As everybody did everywhere. Because everyone bought toilet rolls and hand sanitizer and flour. Right, because either they were stockpiling or they were wanting to learn to bake, which is great, but it meant that we couldn't fulfill our kits um, in the same way that we normally would. So we had to think a bit creatively, and we were put in touch with a baking wholesaler um, to, yeah, try to provide some flour, source some flour. Um, and we initially were just going to do it for our own kits, and then it, it kind of unfolded from there. Um, so, uh, very lucky. Yeah, so very lucky that we have a fantastic community of bakers who've come through our courses. And it was one of them who hooked us up uh, with this, this company that essentially um, can't sell all its flour because they supply the retail catering trade. There was a bit of a, a need. In the retail market, there was not enough flour. And in the catering and trade market, there was too much. So by stepping in and becoming a local distributor and repackaging into sort of more retail friendly amounts, we've been able to supply flour to hundreds of people that couldn't get it um, and to help them to bake along with us. Um, and it's been absolutely amazing to see. <laughs> yeah, so I think we've shipped about a thousand orders um, so far in the last well, since we last visited video, so it was like a, a month. Um, that's more orders than we've ever shipped, put together ever, um, in any business that I've run. And it has been quite tough. <laughs> we've had to scale up quite a lot um, in a very short amount of time. And, um, and we've had to do that whilst balancing your, uh, my job homeschooling <laughs> no, I have to home not. homeschooling has really fallen down the wayside um, but the kids have become super strong at <laughs> lifting bags of flour I feel bad about everyone else that is having to deal with the lockdown um, but I feel good about us because we have all the space that we need and we and I also feel good about that we can like support support others with food by because we we deliver flour to everyone well to everyone that orders and uh, and Emilio <laughs> and here is Miss Emilio so we just found Emilio in a field after a lot of non drama from her mother that she just popped her out. Uh, a little over a week ago. And she is the joy of Garter Farm. Hi, baby. But I have to kind of laugh because I remember saying to maybe you, somebody, you or Emily, who, who helps us um, manage everything, um, that 2020 was going to be the year of events. <laughs> not going to be the year of events at all. We're probably not, well, I mean, hopefully, I, it breaks my heart to think that we won't be running any events throughout the rest of the summer. Um, 
but as time goes on it's becoming more and more likely. But yeah, it's a bit strange to think of Garter without, you know, people, cuddling people coming and we have a baby goat and no one's cuddling her except for us, but we are definitely doing our best. Yes. Um, but you know what, life is like that. Yeah. We'll just have to roll with the punches. Roll with the soft rolls. It's hot being a pig. Here we go. Pepper is a soy. She is very kind. She is very, very cute as well. And then we have Dot is this white lamb. And we've got S'more. And we've got Squeak. 